Welcome to I'm Your Target Demographic. Today we're talking about the Suicide Squad. And if this sounds familiar, it's because I posted a video about Suicide Squad, uh, but it was from a leaked version of the script, or maybe it was something completely fake that had a completely different lineup. So that video is gone because it doesn't apply anymore. So now I'm going to talk about the characters that have been released officially by Warner Brothers to be in the Suicide Squad movie and the casting choices for those characters. So here we go. Who are the Suicide Squad? So here's the gist. There is a team of villains that are kind of under control of the government that have basically bombs implanted in their brain, and if they go AWOL, those bombs blow up. Uh, so the government's kind of using these characters to do missions that no one else wants to do or are too dangerous for anyone else to do. So that's why they're called the Suicide Squad. So some of these villains are kind of doing it against their will. Some of them are trying to redeem themselves. Uh, it's quite an eclectic group. Some of the people announced for this movie are kind of mainstays in the Suicide Squad comic books, and some of these have never been in the Suicide Squad, uh, so we'll see. The most recognizable villain in this cast is the Joker, who has never, as far as I can tell, been in the Suicide Squad. Uh, the Joker is the kind of arch rival of Batman, uh, most notably played by Heath Ledger and Jack Nicholson, uh, and in this outing, Jared Leto. Now, Jared Leto's incredible. Uh, if you haven't seen Wrecking for a Dream, Fight Club, um, Dallas Buyers Club, he's done some incredible stuff, so I have no worries about that, uh, but he does have big shoes to fill after Heath Ledger. And having the Joker never been in the Suicide Squad, either they're going to work him in, um, or he might not be a member, but some people are theorizing that he might be the object that they're going towards, or the person they have to stop, you know, something like that. Uh, so he may not be an actual member of the Suicide Squad, but we'll see. And then we have the Joker's accomplice slash sidekick slash lover, I guess, uh, Harley Quinn, which is a play on Harlequin. Uh, Harley is, Harley was a psychiatrist who was kind of taking care of the Joker in Arkham Asylum, eventually fell for him um, and kind of broke him out and now follows him and kind of does whatever he says. So she follows his kind of guidance, which is crazy. Um, so she's very kind of out there, and has been a prominent member of the Suicide Squad for a while. And in this movie, she's going to be played by Margot Robbie from Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, so we'll see how she does. And then we have a character called Deadshot. And Deadshot is probably the most consistent member of the Suicide Squad. Um, he's been in a lot of different iterations. Um, he is sometimes the leader. He's kind of taken that role. Deadshot is basically, um, growing up, uh, he, there was an accident where he killed someone that he wasn't supposed to kill. So he trained so that he never misses a shot again. Um, and so that's kind of his thing, is that he never misses. So he's incredible with guns, he's kind of known for like uh, sniper rifles, things like that, he's very talented. And now he kind of has a second chance at being a hero through the Suicide Squad. Uh, and in our film, he's gonna be played by Will Smith, which is interesting. Um, but you might also recognize Deadshot from uh, some recent episodes of Arrow, he's done a few that actually featured the Suicide Squad and he's been in those. And next we have a pretty obscure villain uh, by the name of Enchantress. Uh, there is also an Enchantress in Marvel Comics, but that's not what this is, but they are very similar. They're both kind of magic-wielding, very powerful women. The DC version of Enchantress is basically a woman who can tap into magic, but every time she does so, it kind of might take over her. So there's kind of this alter ego that when she uses too much or when she crosses some line, she kind of turns into this evil incarnation of magic. Um, and so she is somewhat, in some of the Suicide Squad storylines, serves with them willingly so that if something were to happen, they can take her out before things get too bad. So she's kind of there um, so that they can watch her. Um, and Deadshot is actually assigned to take her out if things get too far. So I don't know how much of this magic component is going to be in the movie. Um, it depends on how much these DC movies decide to go that route. I don't know. Um, but she will be played by Cara Delevingne, uh, who is a model turned actress. Uh, she's appearing in five movies in kind of the span of the next year. So she's not a big name now, but by the time this movie comes out uh, in 2016, she will probably be a household name. And then we have a character called Captain Boomerang, which is his real name. Uh, but in the movies, they may just go with Boomerang or something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but he is a kind of mercenary, whatever, guy that uses boomerangs and kind of they explode or they're poisoned or whatever. They're kind of different things, um, but that is his skill set. He is kind of a jerk, 
um, there are stories in the Suicide Squad where he watches other people kind of die, where he could have stopped them. He's very malicious. Uh, in the early days, he was very racist. So he is basically the bad guy in the group of bad guys. He did just appear on The Flash and Green Arrow, um, their TV show, so he was there, but he's going to be played by Jai Courtney in the movies. Jai Courtney was in Divergent, uh, and he's in the upcoming Terminator movie, and Die Hard, whatever the last one was that wasn't very good, he was in that. And lastly, we have someone that isn't even a villain, but often leads this group, um, a character by the name of Rick Flagg. Flagg is a general that basically kind of leads this group to make sure that they're doing what they say, they're making sure they're kind of going about the mission the right way. Uh, he hates them. Uh, he resents them. He thinks that he's better than them. He kind of hates being in the trenches with these villains. Uh, so it could be a really interesting dynamic for the movie uh, that Rick Flay kind of leads them, but he doesn't see any similarities between them. There's nothing redeeming about them. Uh, he is kind of the strict army general kind of figure in this team. Uh, and in this movie, will be played by Tom Hardy, who recently played Bane in The Dark Knight Rises. So now here he is in another DC movie playing a good guy. And that is the lineup we have so far. So a group of villains, uh, some kind of redeemable that are there maybe by choice, uh, and then some that are absolutely unredeemable, uh, most notably Boomerang and the Joker, who if he is a member of the Suicide Squad, I'm going to have a hard time rooting for because he is just, he's lost it. Um, so we'll see what this, what this means for the bigger DC cinematic universe, um, that we will see the Joker independent of Batman, which will be the first ever, that will that character be convincing without the comparison to the Batman, that usually it's kind of the black and the white, the two sides of the same thing. Um, so we'll see how that plays in. We've also never seen uh, Harley Quinn in kind of a live action movie like this, so there's a lot of interesting dynamics. There's rumors that Lex Luthor from Batman vs. Superman, played by Jesse Eisenberg, will be appearing in this movie as well. Maybe he is the one that sends them on some mission. You know, he pays them. Who knows? Um, there is still, you know, two years before this movie comes out. But that is who the team is. That's who's playing them. If you haven't been to my full website, head over to I'mYourTargetDemographic.com. Uh, there's video game reviews, movie reviews, all sorts of stuff there. And thanks for watching.